Yeah, welcome back to Career Build Series. Uh, so we are right where we left off here. Katie, did, as you can see, is still spinning down. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I want to try this. Um, let's do a real quick test. I'm going to open this up. Okay, so I need to move Katie did out of here in order to open that. So I'm trying to see where I can land the Katie did that it's not going to end up in the water. That's the main thing. Let's do this. Um, let's launch the barge. The barge is, is safe. Let's let's just be smart about this. Barge isn't going to cost us much of anything because I'm just going to sit it there. All right, we're going to take the Katie did off. We're going to land it on the barge. All right. Um, and then I'm going to open up the house, and we'll work in the house just a little. I tried doing this a different way. I tried building a, um, did a test where I built a, um, one that I manually moved by the Katie did, and the Katie is not super strong for doing that sort of thing. So I, uh, kind of decided it's going to be best to build, um, one that's kind of purpose-built for this. So let's just move Katie did over here to the, um, to the barge. And that way I can, uh, I know it's safe and it's out of the way and I can open up that house diagram again and not lose the uh, Katie did because, you know, I had to have to spawn the Katie did somewhere else and bring it in here. There we go. Look at that. The system's working really well. All right, let's, uh, let's actually throttle down this time. I should put an auto uh, idle on there when the engine shuts off. I'm going to make sure I shut my lights off. Okay. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and let's get back on the shore. And then I'm going to open up the house diagram here. I'm also, um, maybe I'll do it this video. I don't like the man overboard boat as our skiff to get out there. I'm thinking either rebuilding that at some point or I might use my lifeboat off of the uh, home ship. Or the other thought I have was actually making it so Vigio can be put up here on the uh, land. All right, so what I think I'm going to do is I want to um, let me do a quick paint here while I'm here. So I think one thing I might do is um, so I'm gonna, so I'm going to put a gravity-fed diesel tank here. And that will allow me to feed most of my stuff. Um, it's pretty much everything I run right now is diesel. Um, and so I'm going to put that gravity-fed system there. And then we'll have to pump it, you know, pump in there when we do it. But, um, you know, it will feed down via gravity, which uh, will be quick and easy. And then when we go for, like, a uh, fueling run, we will, um, you know, we can fill it up. So I'm just kind of painting this. The white looks terrible. It just kind of sticks out like a sore thumb underneath here. So I'm just going to kind of kind of color all this up so that it's a little bit more hidden, I'd say. Right. Probably don't want to be doing the paint bucket. I don't know where it's painting, you know, when it does that, so... Paint something I don't want it to paint. All right, so that's done. Let me just do under here really quick while I'm here. Most of this I don't think you can see, anyways. I think it's um, I think it's hidden, but uh, do it anyways, make it look better. All right, so let's uh, bring in the ground here. It's tough to see because it's night, but um, so I think what I do is do like a um. Actually, that would be cool. So I just kind of thought of a cool idea. So what I think I'm going to do is I will, um, I really hate it that, like, I love using these rocket pieces for um, legs of stuff because they're nice and, uh, they're nice and large. The issue is that um, they're expensive. They're like 110 a piece. Um, yeah, they're 110 a piece, which, or they're 100 each, which, you know, it's, it would make sense if I was actually building a rocket, but I'm not. I'm building a, um, you know, I'm not building a rocket, so let me see. I'm just building something using those circular pieces as legs. I wish we could either um, designate that we wanted something just as decoration or, you know, something like that. 
So what I so what I was kind of talking to myself about there for a second was um, I think I'm going to build this into a dual purpose like fuel tank lighthouse. So I think that would be kind of cool. All right, so let's just start. I'm just kind of cutting this up here and getting it where I need it. All right, so that's 15. Make the base square, so that will be 14 there. 14 on this side. Okay, so here's a square. And then what I really care about is are these corners. That's what I care about. Uh, did I? Okay, I put that underground for some reason. It's weird how these build like underground stuff that you don't want to build. Okay, so there are my four uh, corners. Now, let me try wedges. I don't think these are going to be. I think these, um, you know, are going to go up too fast. Eh, maybe not. Let me try it. That's actually not too bad here. Let's go l up like 10 blocks and then, uh, yeah, let's go up 10 blocks and then I will start angling it. I, I want this kind of tall. Okay. So those are the, that's the start of the legs here. So I'm going to build like a, a just kind of a both. It's going to be both for fuel, and it's also going to be for um, you know it's going to have. Uh, I think I'm going to put a helicopter beacon on there. So um, for those who don't have any aviation background, the um, you have beacons of that uh, have different sequences and colors for different. Um, applications and so for example um, you have different uh, beacon lights for uh, helipads than you do for uh, regular airports um, you have different ones for military bases so um, by the beacon you can tell if at night am I landing that am I trying to aim for the helipad am I trying to aim for the military base what am I aiming for so that's kind of what I'm getting at and so I'll put a, um, I think I'll put a, like a lighthouse one up high and then a helipad one below that is what I'll do. Okay, so this is just going to be a real simple kind of frame. Then I think I'll do the fuel tank. And then I will do the, um, I keep doubling those up, tripling them up in this case. Okay, that's good. All right, next I think, uh, all right, so I'll start going in with my wedges. So we'll do one by four wedges here. I just kind of go up and then do the same here. So this is going to be a lighthouse slash uh, refueling station, so. See how I end up liking it. All right, and then I, I'm going to kind of cut it, I think, about here. All right, there we go. All right, so that's symmetrical there. All right, so it's kind of I'm just building out the frame of it. Now I think the tank will sit in here, and then I'd like to be able to climb up there, um, so we can go up the side on a ladder is fine. And so I need to get I need to get it above um, 
these uh, mountains here. So let me uh, put a flat plane there. Then right in the center, which should be there, I'm going to go up. So I'll actually use piping here. All right, how high can I go? I can go pretty high on this. Yeah, so let's go. I'm just going to go max height just so I can kind of find my height. There we go. All right, so we're going to get this uh, the lighthouse section all the way up top. So a lighthouse, I believe, a, let me just double check the lighthouse uh, beacon. All right. I think it's two. Uh, so, so the way they work in real life, it's pretty cool. If you look up, let me do one that I'm familiar with. All right, so um, the New Smyrna Beach Lighthouse um, is one that when I was doing my flight training that that was uh, one we used to see. Trying to see where is the. Uh, I'm trying to find the. Uh, I'm trying to find the beacon timing. So um, we used to read. I think they were on our charts, and so we used to. Um, you could look on your aviation chart, and you could see. Um, okay, here's the Wikipedia for it. So um, I think they have different timings. Let me see. Fixed light original group flashing six times every thirty seconds. So um, you know they. I think they time the different lights so that they. Um, so that you know when you're. Let's say you're you're at sea and you see a lighthouse and you're not sure where you are and you know that and you time a minute and you get. Um, and in that minute, you know what you have for, uh, you know where you are, essentially. So, you know, if you know that, okay, you've got six flashes in a minute, that's this lighthouse. If you get this many flashes in a minute, it's this lighthouse. And so by that, you can determine where you are, essentially. So we used to do, we could do that with flying as, it, I, uh, if, if memory serves. Uh, like the St. Augustine light had a different timing than the New Smyrna Beach lighthouse, and you could... You'd ask students, where are we? And they would say, oh, no clue. And then you'd be like, well, you know, is that a lighthouse? And they're like, yeah, well, what's, how many flashes are you getting in a minute? And they would then look at it, and they would uh, tell you, oh, you know, it's this many flashes a minute, you know, and uh, that way you knew uh, where you were. So kind of a cool way to do that. Is this going to be too high? I think it is going to be too high. Not a big deal. I can just move it down. Okay. So let's grab these. Alright. So spot. So this is going to be the actual lighthouse beacon there. And so this might use up some electricity here. All right, so that's going to rotate and give us a flashing beacon. And then I want a helipad beacon. And so what I think I'm going to do here is I it's on this side. So what I'll do here is I'll have like a little uh, section jetting off and I'll use a uh, smaller spotlights. I have to double check. I'm not. Uh, can't remember helipads off the top of my head. I saw one in Hartford the other day, but I can't remember what it's set to. So we have the big beacon, which is going to be the. Um, you know, it's a little bit close to helipad to have such a tall structure, but I don't really care. Let's see, opter pad beacon. Okay. 
Uh, let's see what's up here. Helicopter, helipad beacon. Okay, helipad beacon color. Airport beacon colors. Heliport's rotating beacon flashes white, yellow, and green. Okay, that's what I thought. White, yellow, green. So we're going to take a regular spot here. Okay. It's going to be white, yellow, and green. I can't remember which direction. I'll figure it out and I can. Uh, did I do a pivot or a, what's that? Is that a velocity pivot? It's hard to tell. Let me just delete this and then I will. Uh, I forgot if I did a velocity pivot. It needs to be a velocity pivot so I can go all the way around. I can re reverse the direction. Uh, yellow, white, and green. So I can't remember the order. Um, I can fix that later. White, yellow, and green. And so this is how we know that's a helipad when that's rotating. Alright, good. So that's kind of done. Um, get some uh, black colored blocks here. All right, so let's start building this tank here. Um, I'm going to build it this yellow color here, I think. All right, we make this pretty simple here. Just need this to be a tank that we can uh, utilize for fuel. So we're gonna. Uh, what we'll do is we'll go and get um, fuel from uh, when we go do fuel trading. I'm gonna actually spawn it with diesel to start with, but um, you know I'll make this so that I have to go get um, fuel from fuel trading. Or you know when we run low, I'll get it from uh, fuel trading, and then that way um, you know I can refill it. Um, you know, I'll have to pump it up, but uh, for now we're going to start with, uh, we'll start by uh, not having me pump it up. Okay, let me see where I'm at here, there. Okay, so let's just kind of build this out, and then I'll duplicate this end here in a second. So this is just kind of supplemental fuel that I need for... Um, for my craft. Probably, can I go up one more? I, I think it's fine the way it is. I don't want to overbuild this, I just want to build it. You know, so, you know, again, like I was saying, you know, the um, actually utilizing things in career starts to tell you what you need, and so. You know, I'm low on fuel, and Katie did, so I need a way to refuel front at base. And so, you know, like things like Brigio and everything else need to be able to refuel as well. So this sets me up kind of nicely having a uh, place where I can refuel it when I get back. And then um, one thing I can do is kind of the give a penny, take a penny system where when you put something back in the uh, workbench, it... Um, you know, puts the fuel back in. Well, what I can do is I instead I can pump it out if I want and put it in this tank, and that way, um, kind of save some fuel that way to use in some of our other vehicles. So if Virgil comes back and has plenty of excess fuel, we'll go ahead and put it put it in there because the Katie did might need fuel later. And so that's one of the nice things about having everything I operate right now be diesel is it just everything's on the same fuel. You know, like I was talking about one of the videos, jet fuel is great for certain applications. You know, um, taking stuff up to the Arctic, you know, like containers up to the Arctic quickly, that's a um, good application for it. But you really, you know, it's expensive. And so you really need to make sure your missions are profitable. And so what you're doing is you're reducing the number of missions you can do profitably. So uh, diesel often you can run a lot more profitably just because, the, you know, get diesel for 35 cents. Um, you know, I'll look in a second and see what my cheapest jet fuel is. It's got to be pretty expensive. All right, let me look at my, uh, I can't pull my map up right now. I'm not going to bother. 
All right, so there's my tank. Let's do a couple support braces. Uh, can I brace here? I can, okay. Just do a couple more braces here so this doesn't look too weird, like it's just balancing there. All right, so that is support bracing there. So that's my diesel um, tank. All right, so I'm going to, let me see, I think I'll run it down the leg there. I'll actually, uh, I'll plumb it all the way out here. So this is what I'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and, all right, I uh, can't spell anything right today. All right, so fluid port's going in here. All right. And then I want a spawner. It's going to be diesel in here. That should default as diesel. Good. Let me throw a meter in here. I should probably recess the um, spawner as well. I will. Just give me a little extra space. All right, so that's good. So this is going to be all gravity fed. All right. All right, that's covered. Wow. Can't tell which direction is which. I'm just kind of making this trying to look look a little bit realistic. Now we can build underground, so that's what I'm gonna do here. I don't know how the pressure mechanics work in game. This is something I'm going to have to test. So if I go underground, will I be able to then come up and maintain pressure? That's a good question. Actually, I want it. Where do I want it? There, that's a leg. Um, right there. Yeah, so that's a good question is if I, um, does it actually give me fuel pressure? Because, it, you know, the whole point of a water tower for, say, water is it pumps up into the tank. And then because it's high up, the pressure pushes it, gives you pressure at your lines, essentially. And so that's why you have a, um, you know, that's why you have water towers, IRL, is it, um, it makes it so that you can um, have water pressure, essentially. You know, if you have weak water pressure, it could be due to, um, you know. Depend on you know the the height difference between you and the um, water tower. So you know water towers don't do all that much storage. The point of them is the water goes into the tower, and then it gives it gives you on demand pressure essentially. Okay, let's hook into this pipe here. All right, so there's. Uh, there's our hose there. All right, so there we go. We have that. And then um, okay, that will go like that. All right, so hopefully, let's see if I can fill this up. Um, so that's spawned with diesel. Let me uh, put in a dial. Let me check the electricity here. Um, nothing yet for electricity. That doesn't need it. All right, so I want to uh, gauge. Gauge is a little bit on the big side, but um, oh well. I don't know which is up and which is down. Okay, so this needs to be plugged in. And that is um, primary value to display is fluid level, and then secondary is going to be just I'll put capacity on there. All right, so that's in now. 
Let's see what we're looking at here. Okay, why do I not have any fluid in there? Just, uh, I can't tell because I don't have a... So can I not spawn diesel in here? That's an interesting question. Can I not spawn diesel? Fluid type diesel, 100%. It's a sealed volume. Is it? I believe it's sealed. Yeah, should be sealed. I don't know why I can't spawn the diesel in there. Hmm, 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 hmm. That's interesting. All right, let me uh, test some more stuff here. Let me save this here. Um, all right, let's start working on these lights a little bit. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll set these. I, I need to see how much electricity these are going to burn, but... Um, I'm just gonna screw screw around real quick and put these in. Um, so that is gonna be a constant number of for the rotational speed, and then these are gonna be the constant ons. All right, so let's uh, set this constant rotational speed to we'll say 0.2. Spawn that in. Okay, so there's uh, there there are our beacons. So they're too fast, but um, you know. So let me kind of show you what the helipad one would look like from a distance. So you would get, you know, they're way too fast, but you would get white, yellow, green, you know, and that way it's telling you what kind of beacon it is. I think I'm gonna separate. Uh, I don't know. I might separate that helicopter beacon from there. It's just, it's hitting the tower, which I'm not thrilled about. Definitely too fast. That's, that's, you know, that's for sure. Don't know what the rotational speed should be. Let's see, point oh five. try that. That's better, I think. Alright, so that's not bad. Just need to see why this tank isn't filling. Okay, that's my main issue right now is that tank's not filling. I'm not thrilled with the way it looks, but it's um, something. You know, I can always dress it up later. Let's do this really quick. Um, I want to see if this fills, if I block it out there. Might not let me spawn D's. Nope, there it is. Okay, so that was the issue. Was there? Okay, so 8,500 liters of diesel. Okay. There's something with that fluid port that was causing us problems here. It's not counting it as an enclosed volume, I think. Let's see if that goes away now. Nope, it's working now. Okay, I, I just had to reset it for some reason. Okay, no, it's not full. It's showing us the capacity is 85, but it's showing us that it has zero fuel in there. 
Okay, so we have no fuel in here. Um, need a remedy to that. I can fill it from elsewhere. I have a plane going over. I think, let me do this. Um, let me put that hella beacon on top of the... Um, just do this. Let me put the hella beacon on top of the other one. Um, you know, not realistic, but whatever. So I'm just going to put this on top like this. Um, I don't want the whites lined up um, like that. So I don't want white, white. I want, you know, kind of give it an interrupt like that. I think this is going to be better doing it like this. Oh, come on. I didn't put it in the right spot. There we go. All righty. Let's try that. Do I have the hell of light, the helipad lights on? No. Are they on? They're on, they're just hard to see because of the blasting big light there. I think they need to be separated, frankly. Try to figure a place to put it. Um, I don't want. I just don't want too much junk in the way that's going to make it hard for me to um, land. There we go. Let's do there. Put it on a separate post over here, I think it's going to be better. And then any of this that I don't like or want to change later, I can do later. There we go. Yeah, they get obscured by the... Um, by what's on there presently. So this will just kind of separate them and make them a little bit more prominent um, and closer to the helipad. I have to look at pictures to see how they actually do it. Um, I haven't spent much time around helipads. So. Oh, they need to be set like this because they're going to run in, into the out of bounds there. So. I'm just painting this yellow just to make it a little bit easier to see. <clears throat> okay, so this is what it will look like. Um, you know, so if you wanted to tell what, you know, it's moving, I think, too slow for a helipad beacon, but, you know, when we get flashed at by the yellow, which we just got hit by yellow, then white, and then uh, here comes green. That's how you know it's a helipad. I think it's military base is white, green, green. Um, you know, the spacing is important too. So there was a yellow. I think yellow is only helipad. White. So right now you probably know it's already helipad. Green verifies it's a helipad. You know, okay, that's a helipad. Um, white, green is a regular uh, airport. So like if we were looking for an airport in the middle of, the, uh, of a city, you see a beacon and say, oh, okay, there's white. Green, okay, that's the airport. Oh, yellow, that's a helipad. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Okay, there's white, green. Okay, there's the airport. You know, that's how you'd find them. But this lights up the area nicely. So, all right, so that's good. Uh, so I'm gonna have to pump this in. 
I'm gonna have to pump in some uh, fuel. Some, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to pump in some fuel here. All right, so I need to add some pumping systems in here. So let's do that. All right, so it's gonna gravity feed down, and it's going to. Um, yeah, it's going to gravity feed down, and it's going to pump up. Valve. So pump is going to go this direction to pump in. And so the pump acts like a valve when it's off. It's not doing anything. So what's going to happen is if I hook up to this hose anchor here, uh, which I'll actually probably put a separate one down here, I think. Um, yeah, let me put a separate one down here for filling. Um, let me see here. So I'm going to go like this. All right, and then I will just tee tee this in. What this will allow me to do is also fill up my um my C vehicles like Vigeau with um, with diesel. Make it pretty simple to do that. It's gonna probably take a while to pump this from this low, but oh, where am I? I'm just like stuck in the world here. There I am. Okay, there we go. All right, and then this should be a T piece. It's probably gonna pump slow. I really don't care about how long it takes to pump. We'll do a test here in a second. I'll pump some fluid in. So I need to make a... Uh, all right, so that's set up so I can pump in from there. And then I need to make a microcontroller here, so... And I'll put the controls on the... Uh, All right, so logic, let's just do a, um, whatever, a toggle button. That's for the pump in. It's going to be an output pump slash valve. Pump slash valve. Pump slash valve. That's it. Yeah, I think that's better than only need the two. Okay, so when I press the button, I want to close the valve and turn on the pump. So um, then I need an output to this should just be pump, and this should be valve. All right. All right. So when the toggle is not on. The valve will open. Okay, and when the toggle comes on, the pump will come on. So that's going to pump it. So that's going to reverse the flow essentially. Okay, so let's hook all that up. Uh, electricity to bang bang. That's good. All right. Um, so that is uh, fluid pump goes to pump, valve goes to valve, and then this goes to toggle, which I will just put one here. Put it right here, I think. There we go. That will go right there. And then I'm going to put another one down here. 
Um, And then this will go from here to the, and we'll trip this one here. And that will give us, um, yep, so that will let us pump. All right, so we have our gauge here. Okay, that's set. Um, let's try to get Katie it back. be pretty low on fuel. Yeah, we have 20 gallons left. Do I have a heading set in there? I do not. Okay, good. Right, let's get out of here. All right, so I should be able to pump that last 20 gallons out. Katie did. All right, so good. See, I have plenty of space from the beacon. That's not gonna, it's actually lighting up the pad really nicely. I can see the pad well as I'm coming in, so that's that's nice. A little bit blinding, but it's not bad. I'm focused straight ahead. I'm focused on my pad and my um, camera. So I don't, oh, what, what did I hit? I did hit it. I absolutely hit it 100%. Did I hit it? No, I hit the propeller. Yeah, I hit the propeller on the uh, pad. I was too low. Okay, let me get down before I crash. Yeah, I was way too low. I was like, why can't I see the pad? I was too close, and I ended up uh, prop striking. So that's no good. Um, I'm gonna actually, I can repair it with a repair torch. That's not a big deal. We should be real close to the um, grab. There we go. All right, perfect. All right, let's shut down. I want to get as much of this fuel in there as I can. So 14 gallons, I should be able to take. I don't think we're connected to both of them, but uh, let's see. I did damage my prop here, 100%. Okay, that one's connected. That one's not connected. No, that one's connected. Okay, we're both connected. You see, I, I knocked a prop blade off, so I'll repair that. Um, okay, so I should be able to pump out Katie did. Let's throw this fire extinguisher on the floor. Actually, I put this fire extinguisher back in Katie did. Okay, that's better. Um, all right, let's grab the hose here. Let's uh, plug in Katie. I like it that it lights me up. I can actually see what I'm doing here. Where was my hose anchor? It's in here somewhere. I don't need. I need a way for the beacon to come around before I can see anything. There we go. Come. Oh my God! Stop getting stuck on everything. You There is a hose anchor in here. There is. Okay. Okay, it's on the outside. See, I kept opening up the door thinking it was on the inside. All right, it's not on the inside. It's on the outside. Okay, so that's connected. So, they're trapped by a fire. Okay, 12 gallons. Let's see if I can pump that 12 gallons into this tank. So, we have a capacity of uh, 8531. All right, what is going on here? All right, um, struggling, 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 struggling here. What is going on here? Why is this not working? Okay, I can check the valve from above here. Valve is off. That's true. That's what it should be. I can't check my. Uh, I can check my pump. Okay, pump is true. Zero liters. So why? You're killing me. All right. So we got some stuff done here. Um, happy with the progress. I still need to figure out this tank. Um, I will do that later. Um, let me save this here real quick. And then um, I'm actually, uh, let me see.
Let me save this, and then um, let me make sure this is saved. Okay, there's too many vehicles in the work zone. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to roll open the other save. All right, so we'll roll open this other save. Um, you know, I don't need to screw around too much. What I'm going to do is I'll do a test. All right, so we have the other save in here. Um, and it won't let me open this, I don't think. Okay, that's fine. Let's do this. Let's open up the test career seed. Um, this is going to be my test. I probably should have done it from here anyways, but again, I'm going to roll back the save. I don't need to have all that stuff that I was doing. But what this is going to do is this is going to let me test it and make sure this is all running, uh, essentially free, you know, and not have to spend any money or headache to do it. Make sure this saves up properly, too. Okay. All right, so let me go through all this. That's plumbed there. That should go up to the tank. And that goes through here. Down here. That plumbs into the hose. That goes down here. Goes all the way there. Check electricity. Electricity goes there. All that is plumbed up electricity wise. All right, let me do this. Um, right now I have this reading two values. I don't want that. I want, oh my God, if I could just not keep selecting the same thing, that would be awesome. All right, this is actually a fluid level. All right. Fluid level zero. So this will not spawn with diesel in there. So that's got to be something of a static building which is fine. I'm not really all that concerned about that. What I need to do is this, though. Let's open up uh, the barge. Let's put in a spawner in here. And then because I don't have to pay for anything, let's put in a diesel spawner there. That's spawned with diesel. Spawn that in. Okay, now I'm going to connect hoses. Um, Okay, let's connect the hose here. You're too far away. You're going to drive me nuts here. Hopefully I can hook this. Okay, good. And then toggle that on. And then let's see if this is filling. If it tells me I can't fill uh, a stationary tank, I'm going to be so annoyed. Why it doesn't fill <coughs> is anybody's guess here. Okay, so there it's going down. All right, let's see if it's filling. I just want to make sure I can fill this. That's the main thing here. You know, putting all this underground is a mess. Because I can get under, as you can see here. I can play with it, but it's pumping. I just don't think it has enough pumps. So I don't think it's making it up there because it's just it's it has to pump quite a distance. And it, 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 it dismays me that I can't, um, that I can't pump. So it's pumping into the lines here. It's just, um, okay, let me, let me screw with this some more here. No, oh, get out of here. Too many vehicles in the zone. I'll put those on a night setting as well. Um, let me go back in this bench. 
All right, so I need to add some pumps. That's kind of the name of the game here. All right, so let's put one here. Let's put one. I'm going to kind of overdo it. They're not going to run for that long. They just need to keep this boosted enough to... Um, just need to keep this boosted enough that it moves, is essentially the uh, the thing is. Can't get the pressures up high enough. That This is a long distance, and it's moving uphill. You know, so it's it's considerable amount of effort to get that fluid up there. So, you know, it doesn't surprise me that I need to boost it some more. Oh, come on, man. I just had it connected. Stop screwing with me. Uh, data logic, um, pump. Right, let me check this microcontroller too to make sure it's behaving itself and everything's set up correctly. Toggle valve pump. Okay, toggle valve pump. Toggle valve pump. That's all connected, yup. Okay. Alright, so let's try this. Let's see if I can get this to uh, pump up. Just move this as close to the uh, move this as close to the dock as I can get it. Make it a little easier to attach. All right, hopefully I can get this to work. Can't jump over the railing with a hose in my hand. Okay, turn that toggle on. All right, so that's letting it pump out. I'm at a loss why this isn't working. Check our first pump here and see what's up. Unfortunately, this probably isn't going to work. It's obnoxious. I can't spawn diesel in that sucker. Yeah, it's kind of frustrating. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, let's just put a, this on hold for now. Ugh. It's kind of a frustrating game mechanic that I have to run over to the workbench to recall that to then get in here and to work on that. All right, we're definitely going to set these lights up so they're on, uh, you know, a, a day-night timer, but... Um, So I'm just going to save this as it is here. Alright, and I think we'll call it there, and I um, don't think I'm going to work on that much more. Um, I need to try to get that fuel working at some point, but um, you know, well, we have other ways we can get fuel, so work on those later. Alright, we'll see you later.